Alright, hey guys, um, for this post I decided to do a video blog, so first video blog, what up, hey, um, so last time I spoke with you, slash blog posted, um, I was talking about Rome, which I'm not even going to talk about right now because I will talk about it for hours, I'm in love with Rome, if you can ever go anywhere, go to Rome, so pretty, so much to do, so much to see, lots of culture, do it. Um, I'm definitely going back sometime this semester because I was only there, as you know, for about 24, 27 hours. So I didn't, I definitely didn't get to do everything I wanted to do there. Um, so Venice, sorry. I've actually been to Venice twice now. Um, I was there with Alyssa for the first time and then I went back the weekend after I arrived in Bergamo for Carnivale, um, Car which is like kind of like Mardi Gras, but definitely cooler. But I'll talk about the one with Alyssa first because it was definitely more touristy and a lot less crowded, which was crazy. So we got into Venice from Rome really late at night. It was like 10 or 11 o'clock. So we checked into our hostel, just went to sleep because we were exhausted. Um, woke up the next morning. We went on a Vaporetto, which is basically like a water taxi. Um, the entire city of Venice is surrounded by not like surrounded by water but kind of like all of it is canals so you can go um, by water taxi but not really by car so we went on that saw a bunch of different places we went to um san marco's piazza which is like um a like one of the most famous piazzas which is like plaza in italian um that they have in venice uh we walked around did a bunch of cool just like touristy things looking around I'll post pictures later if not check out Facebook if you don't have me on Facebook then just wait I guess um, but we did that um, we went out that night at Venice we tried to go out a bunch as much as we could in the 19 days that we were traveling but it just it gets crazy you're up really early every morning and sightseeing all day and then all night and then you barely get any sleep so the last thing I want to do is go out and party every night um, but we definitely went out in Venice, which was fun. Um, we met a bunch of guys that, like, didn't speak any English, and so it was a really weird situation, my first situation, of, like, not being able to understand what they were saying, but between my Italian knowledge at the time and Alyssa speaks really good Spanish. She's been in um, Madrid for a semester before, last semester, so we were basically having like a trilingual conversation, which was really cool. It was my first time only like not only speaking in one language, which was a neat experience. Um, what do we do the next morning? Sorry, I have a list over here of like everything I'm supposed to be talking about because if not, I will just ramble on for hours and hours and hours. So um, the next morning, we walked around a bunch. We went to Rialto Plaza. We went to a Rialto Market, which is like a market with like a bunch of vegetables fruit fish shirts a weird thing about Europe is they don't sell crew neck sweatshirts anywhere like anywhere Alyssa brought it up to me first and I was like oh that's not true there's no way no seriously I cannot find a crew neck sweatshirt to save my life I just want one that says like Italia or like Venice or just like something with crew neck because I really hate hoodies they hurt my neck so but can't find that, so if you really like crew neck sweatshirts, don't come to Europe. Um, okay, then we left for our flight from Milan. So, Venice was kind of quick. Um, there's not a lot to see in Venice, except, like, we wandered around a lot, which is one of the first things you should do if you go to Venice, just get lost in Venice. It's very, very, very pretty. Um, it was unfortunate for us because it was cold, Kind of, not really cold, but it was definitely chilly, so we didn't want to be, like, hanging outside the entire time. Also, Venice, also known as the City of Love. Hey, obviously no romance going on between me and Alyssa, so if you are in a romantic relationship, maybe go to Venice. If you're with your friends, maybe skip it. I don't know. It's still really cool, though, whether you're in a relationship or not. Um, pros of Venice best crepes ever probably not but for my opinion we found the best crepe place ever it had like nutella and like this stuff i don't even know what it was called but it was delicious um also another pro of venice 
is, oh, that it was pretty. Uh, I already talked about that. Okay, um, cons of Venice are hostile. It was decent, um, but we had to go across the street and sit in a, um, like a stairwell to get Wi-Fi, which if you've read all my other posts slash my Twitter, you'll realize that Wi-Fi is the water of life. But seriously, when you're abroad and you, you're just like so dependent on Wi-Fi and the fact that like, just not even, I not even like to talk to people or to, you know, get on Facebook or like Twitter, or like whatever all that stuff is, but more to just look up like, what am I going to do tomorrow? What's the best restaurants in Venice? You know, what are the cool things to see? That's really hard when you don't have Wi-Fi. And I think Venice was the first place besides Edinburgh and Scotland, which was like really sketchy Wi-Fi, but they had it. This one, and, like, it closed at 10 or 11 o'clock. Like, we couldn't get on the Wi-Fi after that. So if we were out all day and we wanted to figure out what to do the next morning, we had to, like, make sure we knew what to do. It was, it was really weird. But otherwise, Venice, great city. Check it out. Go with someone that you really care about, a boy or a girl, depending on whatever you're into. Um, second time I went to Venice... I went with a bunch of people from my program. There's about 100 of us um, in my program studying as Erasmus students, which is basically like study abroad people. And there were about 30 of us that went on the trip. There were also about 100 people from Milan <clears throat> that went. So we had like a pretty big group. And this, what we did is we went to Venice all day. So we toured, we ate, we did all of that fun stuff. I met a bunch of friends, so that was cool, um, as I kind of talked about in the last post. Um, but then that night we went to Padova, which is like another uh, city in Italy. And they had this huge party for like all the Erasmus students in Italy. There's like 2,500 people there. And basically Carnival is like Mardi Gras, like I kind of explained, but different like everyone dresses up in costumes and this year's theme was uh cartoon characters but I didn't really have anything because guess what still don't have my stuff hey I feel like I'm homeless but I have a home just less stuff lots less stuff like three pairs of pants three shirts just hanging out three pairs of boots haven't worn a pair of heels in about five weeks so Going through a little bit of uh, deprivation there, but at least this, at least I know now that if I ever had to camp for many days or I something happened to me tragic like my house burned down, I would be able to last with three pairs of pants. Uh, but back to what I was saying, uh, I was a cat. Yeah, I was a cat, so that was cool. And I got oh, I got this really cool mask. You've probably seen it in pictures if you're my Facebook friend. Hey. What a cat woman. It's really pretty. It's like lace. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, Venice, both times fun. Definitely different experiences. When I was there for Carnival, oh my God, so many people. So many people you couldn't walk. Like you were just like trying to get through. It's awful. But still fun. Okay, so left Venice, went to Milan. Um my sister, sorority sister, not like girl sister, um, Molly Goldberg is studying Milan. Hey, Molly, what up, girl? Um, so we stayed at her house. Sorry, my computer keeps shutting off. Um, we stayed at her house for we are in Milan, which is really exciting for all of us to meet up and say hey and see each other. Um, we went and toured around. We went to the, the Duomo of Milan, which is like, Milan's big church. Um, if you don't know, Milan is like the fashion capital of Italy, possibly the world, but I'm not really sure. Maybe Europe. It's the fashion capital of something. Um, but so we went to Milan. Really great. Um, we went to the castle in Milan, which is Castello Sforzetsko. Don't quote me on that pronunciation because, sorry. Um, but, so, that was cool. Um, we also went to an aperitivo the night that I was in Milan, which, um, they're, like, a really popular thing in Italy. 
basically you pay for a drink, so you pay eight euros or four euro. In in Bergamo, it's only four euros. In Milan, which is about forty five minutes out of where I live, Bergamo, um, it's about eight. When we went to the one with Molly, you get a drink and then you get unlimited food. So it's like all appetizers. Definitely not appetizers like in in the U.S. So it's like a little bit weirder. But still really cool. I wish we did it in the U.S. because I love appetizers. They're like my favorite food. Um, but yeah, we went to an aperitivo, which was really fun. Um, then the next night, day we night slash day, we slept in. Um, and then we woke up. We went shopping. Just kind of freshened up and stuff because by that time we were exhausted. And we were like towards the end of the trip, which was crazy. Um, so that was Milan. Milan, great place. I probably will go back soon. It's only about 50 minutes from here on train, which is like, it's like 8 euros to take a train there. It's not bad at all. So, um, what's going on right now? Uh, today is my roommate Lucy's birthday. So, happy 20th birthday, Lucy. Go, girl. Uh, this morning, all she wanted for her birthday was American pancakes. So this morning I made American pancakes and we had strawberries and we decorated and that was really fun. Um, right now she's actually having her birthday party at one of our pubs. I was just there, but I needed to come home early because I have class at 8 a.m., which is not fun. Let me tell you, when you are abroad, having an 8 a.m. three out of the five days, especially two of those days being Thursday and Friday, I don't know how I got stuck with this schedule, but I have three 8 a.m.s, which I haven't had an 8 a.m. since maybe freshman year. I just, I don't do 8 a.m.s, so it's not really fun for me, but um, classes, I went through a whole week of classes, yay, that was fun, love my classes. Um, actually, I don't really like my classes that much because I know everyone's like, oh, you're supposed to be here to study. I know that. Thank you. Um, but my classes are just, like, kind of weird and how they count for my major at Mizzou, just, like, awkward how it transfers. But I guess I'm learning a lot so far in the last week, kind of. Um. Let me think. What, oh, this weekend. What did I do this weekend? Uh, Friday? Thursday. Friday. Friday. Through my program, we did this thing where you pay 15 euros and you got like a first course, second course, and unlimited wine at one of the best restaurants in Bergamo, which was really fun. And then we ended up going to this club right outside of Bergamo because actually clubs are illegal in my town which is weird we actually we kind of have one that's like a secret one you have to have a membership I have like a membership for it it's kind of cool um but besides that like it's legal but there's one that's like 20 minutes outside that everyone goes to it's called Capo Giro it was really fun it was my first time there it's kind of crazy um and yesterday I went shopping I finally got an Italian phone yeah it's been really annoying not having one so that's good and then, um, I already talked about not having my stuff. Okay. Oh, so, what's up for next time? What am I going to talk about next time? I'm going to talk about Pisa and Cinque Terre. And I'm going to just gush about it. Because if I could marry any city thing, like inanimate object, it would be Cinque Terre as a whole. If I had to pick one city, Romaggio. Like, I don't think I've ever just been in total jaw-dropping awe than I was in Cinque Terre, and and I, I can't even explain it, it was amazing, but I will next time I do a post, I don't know if it's going to be text or video or what I'll do, but it'll be great, whatever it is, obviously, but so that's it, I have to go to bed because I have my 8 a.m. very, very soon, not really, it's, it's 11.30, oh great, okay, so yeah, I have to go to sleep because I have to get up and I have a 30 minute hike to class, I'm not talking about like, oh hey, you're getting a little bit of aerobic exercise, I'm talking about pick the biggest mountain slash hill you've ever climbed, then put it at a vertical angle and walk up it for 30 minutes, hmm, that's what I walk to class two times a day, it's crazy. But it's great. So that's it. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. I miss everyone that I know that's reading this. If I don't know you, I probably don't miss you. Um, but yeah. All right. Love you. Bye.